Dear viewers, these days when people buy health insurance plans, floater policies are becoming more and more popular. In this episode, we are going to talk about what are floater plans in the health insurance segment, what are the things that you need to know, are there advantages, are there disadvantages and every aspect of buying a floater plan will be discussed in this episode. This is NRI Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Khan but financial planner and an investment consultant. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. Dear viewers, to talk about the floater plans of health insurance companies, I have brought to the studios my eminent faculty, Mr. Harish Prabhu. Mr. Harish Prabhu works as business associate manager in Manipal Signa Health Insurance Company. He is a familiar face on the channel. He has spoken about different aspect of health insurance in the past as well. I will be giving a link to the previous episodes done by Mr. Harish Prabhu. Please make sure that you watch these episodes and be guided on that. Welcome to the show, Mr. Harish Prabhu. Thank you. Mr. Harish Prabhu, these days floater plans are becoming more and more popular. Okay. What are these floater plans? How they are different from the individual plans? See, floater plans rely more on a relationship. See, the thing is, for a husband, wife and two kids or maybe three kids, you can go with the floater plans. But for the relationship like brother, sister, uncle, aunt, nephew and all, you cannot go with the floater plans. You need to go with the individual plans. Normally, in a common words, we can say, Floater plans are the buffets and uh, uh, individual plans are the a la carte, where you will have a specific coverage for the specific person in individual, whereas in floater it is a family coverage can be used by one person or the whole family together with the given sum measure. That is the difference, basic difference. Mr. Prabhu, you gave me an idea about what is a floater plan. My question to you is, are floater plans really helpful? How does it, uh, for a buyer of this plan, how it is beneficial for him to buy a floater plan? See, uh, floater plans are really beneficial. Why? Because the thing is, for example, in a family, there are five people, husband, wife and three kids. If they have taken a uh, plan of floater plan of 10 lakhs, tomorrow, even a single person, because we know health insurance is rarely used to all family members together. Normally, one or two people may get a claims in a family, not together, very rarely. Now, that one or two person can use the whole sum measure which are allotted to this that family. That means a person, uh, whoever the one person of the family can use the full sum measure. Whereas, in uh, individual plan, the particular that sum measure is allocated to that concerned person and he cannot move, uh, take the uh, sum measure from the other members of the family. This is the main difference. Okay. Now, as I understand, let us assume that a family buys a floater plan for 10 lakh rupees. Okay. Yes, sir. And one member falls sick and he can utilize the entire 10 lakhs. Okay, but my question is, let's say a family is uh, traveling by a car, and car meets with an accident, and multiple members of the uh, the uh, the plan uh, should be uh, treated. In such a case, uh, will a floater plan become a hindrance for them? Yes, correctly you are told, sir. Uh, in such cases, the whole sum measure will be given first come first preference claim uh, settlement ratio. For example, first uh, person who has got discharged has already used that uh, sum measure, then the other members need to pay uh, the uh, claim, uh, claim from their pocket. Company will not be eligible. In such cases, that is why such cases people go with the restoration benefits or uh, top up policies to safeguard such situation or such embarrassment in their life. You brought to the discussion the topic of top up plan now okay correct a family buys a floater plan now 
Yes. And one member of the family utilizes all the limits which was there in the floater plan. Correct. Now, you mean to say the top-up plans are also available as a floater plan? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Top-up plans are also available as a floater plans. The moment top-up will come into existence only at the time of all the sum measure has been exhausted from the floater plan. So, top-up plan will start the moment your sum measure of the base plan has been exhausted. Okay. So, what happens if this person has used all the sum measure, the top up sum measure can be used by the family members or even the same person wants to continue the claim, he can use that also. Okay. He, he can use that top up sum measure also. Okay, I will understand with the help of an example now. Yeah. Now, let us say the family has taken a 10 lakh uh, health insurance floater plan and one member of the family utilized all the 10 lakhs and they have also purchased another 25 lakh rupees top of plan with the first 10 lakh being not covered. So there is an additional 15 lakh which is there on the top of plan now. Now can the second member when he falls sick because the base plan is already exhausted can they can their bills be paid using the top of plan or for the second member also it has to be claimed on the base plan. No. See, once this to, uh, top up uh, plan has been taken, floater plan, the base plan, once it gets exhausted, immediately this will come into existence. So that means, like the same base plan, the floater plan also will work. That means, the sum issue exhausted by the one family member, the other family member needs the claim, then he can use the top up sum issue, including the first person also. There is no condition that this person has exhausted with the base plan and the other members only eligible for the top up plan. No, including this person also, top up can be used. Okay. Mr. Harish Prabhu, now we talked about uh, having a top up plan along with a floater plan. I have seen in some of the companies, they have clauses something like a restoration clause or they call it as recharge and they say that if uh, you have taken a floater policy, if one member of the family fall sick and all the limits are exhausted, then the sum assured for the other members is auto renewed or there is an additional sum assured. Now tell me what is happening in the industry, whether that such facilities are there across the board, as per the law it is mandatory or is it an individual thing, if there are variations how it is there across the industry. You have a, a good understanding of different plans in different companies. What's exactly happening in the industry now? Yeah. See, the thing is uh, auto recharge or restoration. That means at the time of exhaust of your uh, sum measure, the other sum measure <coughs> will come into existence. That means it may it should be for the different disease or a different same disease for the different person of the family. This is restoration. Now what will happen? The moment one person has exhausted with the sum measure, the other person if diagnosed with the same disease or a different disease or the same person with the different disease can are eligible for taking this restoration sum measure. One of the beautiful features of health insurance. Most of the times it is inbuilt with the product and sometimes we need to pay extra and take this benefit. But whatever the way, this benefit is a one of the cherry on the cake. You need to take it at whenever you decide to take a health insurance. Without restoration or without recharge, the product is not complete what I want to tell. Mr. Harish Prabhu, we talked about the floater plans. We spoke about the good things about a floater plan. Are there any negatives in a floater plan which a buyer has to be aware of? Yes. Sir, a very good question. Uh, the thing is, whenever you buy a floater plan, make sure that it has got inbuilt or additional coverage of restoration or recharge benefit. Also, I suggest always a floater plan 
should be backed up by a uh, or followed by uh, top up plan why because in this we have seen uh, in this pandemic so many times the whole family got affected and got admitted to the hospital and only a uh, base sum assure without restoration will not help that family to serve the purpose so also in the case of eventuality when a family traveling together met an serious accident and all the members have been got injured such cases also the normal floater plan will not work so my sincere request whenever you feel to buy a floater plan because floater plans are budgeted plans i agree with it the moment you buy it don't mind taking a restoration or recharge benefit and also if possible go with the follow up plan of top up plan mr harish prabhu thank you very much for bringing all these points for the benefit of our viewers and the interaction with you helped our audience to know more about the floater plans how they should buy it what are the precautions that they have to take and the limitations of the floater plans thank you very much on our behalf and on the behalf of our viewers okay thank you dear viewers in the episode that you have seen now we have dwelled into every aspect of floater plans of health insurance companies if this episode helped you to understand each and every part of a floater plan why you should buy it or why you should not buy it what are the precautions that you have to take while buying a health insurance plan please like this video if you are a person who is watching this channel for the first time or if you are yet to subscribe for this channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon don't forget to share this video with your friends and relatives thank you very much for watching this episode on nri money clinic i shall be back with you with yet another topic in yet another video very very soon press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel